Hello crafters, I'm Gam B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I was inspired by a video I saw by, I think her name's Tammy Beard and I think she goes by the name of Savvy Stamper. Um, it's a um, book bind, binding card which I've already done a video to show you how to do that but it's got a special pop-up inside which is that which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It really does pack a wow to this. I mean, my video that showed how to do this bit was really very popular, um, so I'm sure this is going to be even more so. Obviously this card, you could make it that way, or that vertical or horizontal, because it just opens up exactly the same. All right? And for the card today, I'm going to do a masculine card using the Sailing Home stamp set. But I'm going to do something different. I think it's going to work. Um, otherwise I wouldn't be trying it, but it could be that it doesn't work very well. Um, but it's an experiment and it's something that, you know, you may think about trying. If I try it and it doesn't work out, then it saves you your... Uh, design suitors paper and everything um, so it's a learning curve for all of us what I am going to be doing is that these here and these squares here I'm using designer series paper it's a pale blue and I think it's going to be stamped on and I think it'll be it'll work out beautifully so we're going to see how that goes in the box below the video, I will put the measurements in inches and metric for A4 cardstock users and also inches for letter size cardstock users as well. Now the cards, the designer series paper that I'm using there is from Beauty of the Earth, which is a um, set that's all to do with trees. I'm not using the tree bits, but there was a blue design which I thought was apt for using with um, sailing home, the ships and everything. So when I put the measurements in the box below I will put the measurements for this as designer series paper but after designer series paper I'll put basic white so you know if you don't like the designer series paper idea you know to go for the basic white. Okay. Right so let me tell you the cardstock you're going to be needing. First of all, the card base, no uh, scoring on it yet, we do that together, and this measures 4 and one eighth inches by 11 and a half inches. Then you need a piece of basic white, which measures 4 inches by 3 and 7 eighths inches, and I measured on here at the top so that I didn't get confused because there's only an eighth of an inch difference. Then you need another piece of whisper white, uh, sorry, basic white, which measures one and a quarter inches by three and seven eighths inches. Then you need a piece of designer series paper for the front, which measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. Now the designer series paper I'm using for the front of the card and for the explosion bit, they're both from the six by six designer series paper packs. This was one year and the next bit was from a later. In fact, the second one is for this year's. Um, but it's a different piece from the inside. Um, so did I tell you the measurement for that? Yes, five inches by three and three quarter inches. Next you will need, now this is where it could get confusing. Now this is from Beauty of the Earth. And as you can see, it's, very, it's ideal for either the sea or the sky. So this has been die cut using the stitched rectangles die number three, or you need a piece of basic white, which measures three and three eighths inches by two and one eighth inches. Now, normally I would layer that onto Knight of Navy, but it just disappeared on here. So I'm going to put that on to Whisper White. If you use white here, you'll obviously want a different colour under there. But that piece has been die cut with the stitched rectangles 
number four. I've got that back to front, haven't I? Smaller than number, smaller than die. So that's number three, that's number four. Number three is three and three eighths inches by two and one eighth inches. And that one is three and a half inches by two and a quarter inches. I will make sure that the measurements are correct in the box below. So if I have successfully confused you, please double check there before you cut your cardstock. Um, and then for the pop-up bit, you need a piece of designer series paper, which measures five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. Now that's the side that I want to have inside. That's the side the pattern on the outside and this is the these are the designs you get if you buy the um, packs now and this is from the neutrals pack and then for inside where there is basic white on these two I am using beauty of the earth did I say and I've cut these on the angle because that's how they are going to fit and you see I've got my lines coming across on both of those and both of these measure two and a half inches I don't think that's quite right is it oh yes two and five eighths inches by two and five eighths inches or stitched shapes dies number four the largest one you need two of those but let me just make a note on there um, five eighths wasn't it that's it. So I think that's probably all. Um, you will need scraps. If you're using designer series paper, you'll need scraps for your images. If you're using basic white, then you'll need scraps of white for your images. Okay. Right. Let's get going. Now, the first piece we're going to be working on is this one and you'll need your trimmer and what you need to do on here first of all you need to score at five and three quarter inches move the cutting blade out of the way okay so that's five and three quarters and then four and a quarter Okay, so that's that bit done. Now with this piece, this is going to be like this. I'm doing mine this way. Okay, so I want one piece for here and one piece for here. So what I need to do is to cut down there at one and one eighth inches. So that's one and one eighth. Okay, so that's that bit done. I don't think we'll need our trimmer again. So we fold this, we get some nice firm creases with our bone folder. And when you go over, make sure you get your sides all nicely lined up. And then for this one, fold this back and then give that a good score. So that's obviously going to be the front bit. So I'm going to do these two pieces first and that one because this bit is going to tell me whether this is going to work out or not. Let's see if I did that correct. Yep, I did. So let's have some combo. In fact, I did mean to get another little pot out. Right, let's just unclog that. Right, it's going to play hard to get. Um, when this gets gummed up it gets like a little glue plug in there. Oh. 
sometimes it comes out really nicely in one go. Other times it gives you the real run around. Come on, come on. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. I've had trouble with this before, but never as bad as this. Can you see that? I keep stretching it. Oh. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute, please. While I try and get this sorted out. I know what I'm going to do. The other way of getting this out is by getting a piece of paper and giving a good squeeze, push it out. But don't do it on your cardstock or designer series paper because it's going to come shooting out in a big... You know, are you? You really are not going to play ball. Right, that's it. Let me get a nice new one. That's it. The only trouble is now it would all come out far too quickly. Just double checking, I'm still at the top. Yes, that's good. And I'm going to pop it on here as well. Did I have any tweezers with me? We've got a little pair here, so let's make do with these for the time being. So that fits in there, so you've got like a one eighth of an inch gap all the way around. And then this one. Very difficult when you're using white as a mat if you're working on white. There we go, just double check it by putting it on there. Yeah, that looks okay. Now we're going to put it on here. Obviously, if you're using something that has a directional pattern on it, Make sure you do it the right way. There we go. So that's fine. Now, for the images, I have prepared them all ahead of time, as I normally do, because I really don't know what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be doing some with you. Um, oh, here's a pair of tweezers. That's it. Okay, so this is the design that I've used. So I'm going to use this as if I haven't done all my pieces. Let's get that one out of the way. Okay, so first of all, I need... This piece here, okay, so this was die cut using the stitched rectangle dies. I always count my dies smaller the number, smaller the die. So this would have been number three. 
that's right. And I'm going to be using Knight of Navy ink. And I am going to be using, for this bit, my Stamparatus. And I've already got my stamp set up, which is from Pansy Patch, which is called Wishing You a Little Extra Happiness Just Because You're You. Is that the one? Yes, that's right. That's the one I'm using. And I think on this one I'm going to put the sentiment on the side where this one I put them both in the centre but I want to put a ship, one of the yachts rather, at the side so I'm going to move this one over so let me see push that up just a little bit that looks centre let's make sure it's straight, I know the stamp is straight I've tested that just lift it up and double check. I think that could do. We're coming down just a tad. But I'm going to just show that dotted line now. Good. Okay. So I'm going to use Knight of Navy. I might have to do this two or three times because I'm going on to design a serious paper. In fact, I've only done half of that, haven't I? Where's my other? Magnet. And I could do with a stamp set under there. It makes it so much easier. Okay, see, so it does take very well. what you could do, which I just thought about, if you wanted to do this and you had quite a dark designer series paper, there's no reason why you couldn't do this with white ink. That would look really nice. The only thing you would have to remember is that white craft ink does take a bit longer to dry. So what bit am I doing? It's this bit nearest the edge here, isn't it? I really must get my little um, ink spots out to save getting all this mess. There we go, I think that's probably just about it. We'll give it one more for luck, shall we? There we go. So that's going to be for the front front of my card and I've got a white oblong that I've already die cut. Okay, so that's going to be going on there. Okay, so now I need some, but let me just give that a wipe because I've got my chamois here. That really is excessively inky. Sounds like I've got a mouse in the room. Or the cat's being strangled. <laughs> One or the other. Right, put that over there. Uh, we're not going to be using that again. So you come up. <gasps> oh my goodness me. Guess what I've just done. <gasps> oh my goodness. I've just gone to pick up the dies and the ink pad sitting on the top and I've just picked it up. Look at that. <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. In case you're new to my channel just to let you know that I do actually have a towel that I sit on on my chair for emergencies like that. I'm not just wiping that down my dress. Let's close it up while I'm being clumsy. Um, right so this is what I need and where's my... as I say I don't really know what I'm going to be doing as far as my images are concerned so I'm going to do one of each of these um, 
Will I possibly be using any of the other things? Um, I don't think so. Oh, I might use a bird. Look at that. Um, well, let's just start off with the yachts first. And I'm going to go for the light a bit here. I'm not going to give up now because I'm not a not somebody to give up too easily. So let's try one of the big ones. I think this will be all right. She says trying to convince herself. So let me just bring my big shot over and I'll die cut these. Um, in fact, let me just cut that piece off. I don't want. To, in fact, I won't be able to get a big piece like that through my machine. There we go. so that I can get the position correct. Now the die set to go with the smooth sailing, I didn't actually show you the, this. This is the sailing home stamp set. I'm sure you've seen this because I've used it so many times. This has got to be one of the best stamp sets for value for money, really. And these are the matching dies to go with it. So you can die cut both of the yachts, the lighthouse, um, anchor, rope, steering wheel, their compasses for the, um, oh, there's this stamp, isn't it, for the, um, it's got the, uh, oh, what, arms, I there must be a proper word for that, um, those things that go round on the, on the compass, right, that's one, and that's the other. I might come back to those for something else, I don't know yet. Jumping. Let's try that again. That's more like it. not quite right. This one you're supposed to see the um, rope coming down through the holes there. If you can't see them, your stamp's not in the right place. Uh, your die isn't in the right place rather. There we go. That looks okay. As long as they don't move. She cuts out a bit in the centre, like that. Okay. I'll tidy my dies up later because it's got a little bit caught in there. That goes on there. 
and this one, oops, this one is solid. Okay, I'll put those down. That one on there. I might have to come back for that, let's see. Um, right, first of all I'm going to adhere this one on and I'm going to use dimensionals once I've stuck these two together. Um, no, not you, this one. Right now this one I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do something like the steering wheel or the anchor and die cut it in Knight of Navy cardstock to go on there. I thought that might look quite nice. Um, as I say I haven't decided what I'm doing so if I pop this up on dimensionals then I should have here somewhere not in the right colour but one of the steering wheels it would at least give me an idea what it looks like Now this should be nice and easy to get straight because I have that writing on it assuming that of course the writing's straight which yes it is There we go Now see what it would look like with a yacht there that's a small one or we could have a big one Oh, where's all the other bits and pieces that I had? I keep all my cutouts inside my stamp sets now. I find that I'm far more likely to use them than just keeping them in, a, in with a colour scheme. Right, there we go. This isn't the right colour, but this is what I mean. See, that would look nice, wouldn't it? I prefer that. So, let me... I need to do one with Knight of Navy. That was the other one. Let's keep that out because I want to have a look at that. I'll keep that out as well in case. Now I won't really use any of these, but it does give me an idea. Okay. Let's pop all those away again. You can tell by the amount of stamped images and dies and cuts there are here how often I use this set. Alright, you can go away because I've already got one of you. Right, okay, let me reach for a scrap of Knight of Navy. Hopefully without falling off my chair. Alright. I'll do one each of the these two, I think. Let's bring my big shot up again. Where'd that come from? All of a sudden I've got a heart. Maybe that's got to go on there. Well, that's funny, isn't it? I don't know where that came from. Right, what do we need here? We want the 
steering wheel. Let's do one of these as well, just in case I get it all done in one go. This is how come I finish up with so many bits and pieces. Okay. see me using that bit but never mind. straight into the bin. Okay, now what does this look like with a proper colour? Yes, I like that. I definitely like that. Um, trouble is, that is going to be a bit too flat. Um, I should have thought about this ahead of time and I should have done several. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals but it does mean that I've got to cut some lots of little bits for it so that I can put straight bits around the edge and one in the centre there. So I'm going to use this edge bit on the small. I don't know, do we call these minis? I think we do call them mini dimensionals. So let's see what happens. I've just done some very thin slices here. And when you take the backing off, these become very, very flexible so you can bend them around corners. So it will go around this curve quite, quite easily. more sticky on my finger than it is on the cardstock. Right, now stay. That's it. Right, let's take the paper off first. Pack down first, curl the front round. There you go. See, it should be easy. There we go. Another two pieces and that will be done. Put the back down first. And... Alright, put the front down first then. Don't mind which way you go. there as well don't we there 
I didn't really cut that, did I? Right, I got it that time. There we go. There's no reason why I can't put a heart on a man's card. I haven't been working with blue hearts recently, honestly. I really don't know where it came from. Right, now let's do the fun bit, which is this bit here. Now, whichever design you want to have, inside which is I want this one inside because where's my little squares which I oh here we go because that'll show up really nicely on that that I think is a bit too busy okay so what you need to do first of all is fold this in half in a straight line oops and with your bone folder. I don't normally recommend that you do use your bone folder on designer series paper because it will crack. But this is going inside a card and obviously it's quite thick. So we need the creases to be good creases. So I wouldn't run your bone folder up and down, just give it one good crease. Okay, so you folded it this way and you folded it that way. Now you need to fold it this way. Make sure all your edges line up beautifully. And then again, one good burnish both sides. Now what you should find when you open this up, if you fold that one backwards and come back again, then that should fold like that. So that is your pop-up. I mean, how easy is that? One burnish that way, one that way, and one diagonally. All right, so now let's put this in the card before. Let's seal this down. I'm going to put the put this bit in the pop-up bit in and then do the decorating of it now when you put your glue in here don't go right up against the edges because this will spread and you don't want it to actually spread out okay so just give that a good squash Now with this card, you don't finish up with a large area for writing your greeting because all you've got is that bit there. But you could, if you wanted to, stamp um, another sentiment in there and then could sign on the back of the card. You could put another piece of white on there. Okay, so that's that bit. Now, with this, you need to have it so that that is the flat piece and this is the flat piece. You've got your two folds on the outside. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put, first of all, make sure it fits. And what you should find is that they will fit almost to the edge and that will fit right at the edge there. So once you're happy that that's correct, Put some glue on the back. There 
and without letting it change position put that down okay so you've got the point at the top there as close to that fold as you can okay you can see mine right there now that that one is adhered down we're going to put glue on this side to adhere this one down and because this is a book binding fold we will need to take this top down onto the bottom or actually lift it because you've got that bit there that's in the way And you should, when you open the card, have your pop-up. How brilliant is that? Now that all looks rather dark. So by using my lighter pieces, it's going to be, it's going to lighten it a lot, but it's still going to be like nautical, if you like. So I'm going to put the glue in here first. I've already decided that the yachts I'm going to adhere on top so that I can have them layered although I don't know quite how I'm going to be layering them and with this as long as my lines go side to side that way I'm okay there we go and then I'm going to do one this side as well Okay, make sure my lines are going in the right direction. Move that a bit. Not quite straight. I think that looks straight now. Yep. On my first card, I did use um, layering here. I don't know if you noticed. Okay, so I had two layers there, which I thought looks really nice, but it does make the card a bit too thick. So I've left it out like that. But I still think this looks nice. Right, let me bring my yachts over. I have loads. Okay, so this one's going to be for my sentiment. And this is where I thought maybe I could put the rope, just to decorate it. Maybe put that one up at the top there. Now with the yachts, do I want... See, this is the beauty of this, because it's not going to interfere with the opening and closing, because I'm just going to glue it all down. Let's take one of the little ones as well. We could bring you over quite a bit, couldn't we? There we go, I think that looks nice, don't you? So I'm going to adhere that one down first. I've just memorise where it is. Oh, just over that whitish bit there. Obviously, I don't think you'd want to use dimensionals for this because it's inside the card and the card is already very thick. And by the way, this will stand up. I'll show you that in a moment. Right, now we'll use this. Where's the other big ones? Did I only get one? Surely not. Surely to goodness, no. Now 
I think this one's darker, isn't it? So if I bring it down like this. Yes, I like that. So let's put some glue. These, those other ones really are a bit small. There we go, and then I don't know about that. another one like that couldn't I? That looks nice. That's much better. So I'm only going to put glue behind this bit otherwise that's going to be bent. Okay where my tweezers are up to that bit. So I wonder what you think about using designer series paper for instead of the white. I think it adds a nice bit of um, extra bit of interest if you like. I mean you could decorate all around here if you wanted. Oh I know what I thought didn't I? I said about the birds. Now with the birds I found I couldn't use the stamp as all three so I cut mine apart. And I found they are much better. So I'm just going to do a couple. And I've got a scrap piece here, so I'll test it on here first. And um, with my topper. And my ink I moved up there somewhere, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, which way? Sideways, I think. Yes, looks as if he's coming in to land. Oh, that's good. As I've got so many um, blocks over there, I might as well use one individual, one for each individual. I think he's flying that way, isn't he? So he can fly upwards. Not too much, otherwise he'll be doing loop the loop. That's it. In fact, I could do some over here as well, because it's not going to affect the writing, is it? If you want to write, you just write over the top of it. So what's this other one look like? That's a good one as well, I like that. I'm not going to put any more on that side. But I will. On that side. I could put them. No, I'm not going to do any on the front, that's nicely full. So there we go. That's today's project. What do you think? Really packs a wow, doesn't it? So many thanks for the um, inspiration. Um, uh, Savvy Stamper, Tammy Beard. I will double check on her name. Just to make sure that I've got it right. So there we go. Yes, I'm very pleased with that. Very pleased. I did look to see if I had some ribbon or some cord or something I could tie around there. 
um, but I didn't have anything that was suitable. And one thing that I will do is I will put this under something flat overnight and that will help to flatten that down more. Okay, so many thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you give it a try. I have two quick bits of news for you. One is ages ago I said to you about um, a number of you say that you feel guilty because you can't shop with me um, but it's just one of those things it's um, the way Stamping Up decide to do things and I just accept it um, but I did say that there is something I know which is called Kofi or coffee and you can buy me a digital coffee if you like um, I'll put the link in the box below the video um, it's not uh, obligatory it's not an obligation whatsoever um, it, I'm just doing it as a response to people saying they would like to be able to shop with me um, and the other bit of news is I've joined a group of stamping up demonstrators from around the world and we call ourselves Create With Us and each month we are doing a tutorial as a PDF and there's 15 projects in each except for the first one which is 14 um, and it is all based on one particular set the one that's current at the moment is using the pansy patch the stamp set and this has got dies with it I should have got those out to show you um, and it's got some designer series paper so if you would like to purchase that doesn't matter where you live in the whole wide world I can sell to all of you uh, because I'm not selling stamping up products um, again I will put a link in the box below to my it's called my t um, tutorial PDF shop I think or tutorial PDFs, PDF tutorials, something like that. But I'll put a link in the bottom and it's an automatic process just like any other online shop. So you can select which one you want. There are three there. The first one was strawberry, sweet strawberry, which was the stamp set and the punch. And there'll be another different one next month. So if you'd like to purchase either of those, please check it out. Um, as I say, 15 projects in this month's one which is a total of 85 pages because there are photographs there's lists of products there's measurements for A4 cardstock and also letter size cardstock and step by step instructions as well I'm sure you will not be disappointed um, as usual all the details will be in the box below um, all the products that I've used for today's card and a link to my 24-7 online stamping up shop if you'd like to buy from me and you don't already have a stamping up demonstrator you work with please remember to use the hostess code for June and then when I send you happy mail at the end of June or well, beginning of July I can also send you some free product as well um, so it really is happy happy mail Many thanks for joining me today. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Click the bell and you'll be notified each time I upload a new one. Many thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, please take care, stay safe and happy crafting. Cheerio.